guys, my name is Trisha and welcome back again to my channel. For today, we have another video. For today's video, I am finally doing my Big Bad Wolf 2020 book haul. I know it's been a long time kasi tapos na yung Big Bad Wolf, pero ngayon pa lang ako gagawa ng haul ko because I'm always like that. I'm always late in doing things. Yes. So for this year's Big Bad Wolf, a uh, Big Bad Wolf sale was with us in the World Trade Center last Feb 14 to Feb 24, 2020. So again, if you don't know what Big Bad Wolf is, it is a uh, book sale. Like it's the cheapest uh, book sale, book fair ever. Na alam ko. Uh, actually, it is um, the books in here are much more cheaper than Manila International Book Fair. Pero meron din naman mga mas mura ding mga mabibili sa Manila International Book Fair. But then, Big Bad Wolf sale, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, originally from Malaysia. And then, nagpupunta lang din siya into places uh, here in the Philippines, just like Davao, then Cebu, if I'm not mistaken, Pampanga, and then Manila. The VIP day for BBW 2020 was last February 13, 2020, but it opened uh, to the public talaga ng Feb 14, 2020. It was the first day, but then Big Bad Wolf had, has this um thing they call the VIP Day. So, uh, makakapunta ka ng VIP Day if you um, join their uh, contest to win the VIP ticket. Um, uh, as for me, I went there last February 15. That was a Saturday because that's the only time that I can go to the fair since uh, February 13. Uh, first, I don't have a ticket and then it's a uh, normal weekday here in the Philippines. So, hindi ka naman pwedeng uh, iwan mo na lang kung ano yung responsibility dun sa buhay at pumunta ka sa isang book fair. So, hindi talaga ako makakapunta. And then, I'm not creative enough para makapanalo ng VIP ticket because the last time they hosted a contest where um, uh, book readers, bookworms can recreate their uh, favorite um, book. So, haha, hindi ako creative. So, haha. So, if you don't like this video, you can go. But if you are interested to see the books that I've hold in BBW 2020, well, you can stay. So for this year's Big Bad Wolf, I bought 11 books in total and one journal. So compared to my last year's haul sa Big Bad Wolf, uh, last time kasi, uh, last year kasi, two books lang yung nabili ko doon, which is Sherlock and Revel of the Sands, if I can remember it correctly. But now I bought 11 books. Oh my gosh! <laughs> So, I bought a lot of books for this year's um, Big Bad Wolf, and, but it's not that much or that many compared to the other bookworms or book readers that hold their books in Big Bad Wolf. Like, ang dami-daming namili talaga ng bonggang-bongga at hindi naman ako anak ng isang senador o ng congressman para bumili ng madaming-madaming libro. At alam ko namang magpa-pile up lang din siya. Since, ang dami ko pang mga libro na binili na hindi ko pa nababasa, mapapagalitan na ako ng nani kasi sabihin niya, tinatambak mo lang dyan para maalikabukan, hindi mo naman binabasa. So yes, I've controlled myself a lot when I was in Big Bad Wolf. Like, uh, most of the books that I bought are the books that I know and I've heard about, and some of them I've already read. So, going first to the journal, um, this one, I don't have any plans talaga na bilhin ito, but then it looks so cute and nice. And this is the journal that I bought, like it's red. It's like Taylor Swift's, what? It's like Taylor Swift song called Red. But then, yes, just look at the um, design and the texture of it. Well, you can touch but some of them are embossed and like it's designed this way. Like I really, really like it. I love the cover. And if you open it, the pages, this is like a cookbook. I believe kasi meron siyang yung mga how to make a um, bitter chocolate pear cake. And then Victoria Sponge Union Jack. Stuff like that, I believe. Plus, it, it screams Sherlock for me. I don't know. <laughs> kasi diba, um... Si Sherlock is from London. Well, well, I, well, I'm talking about BBC's Sherlock, okay? But he's from London. And then it looks vintage. And then it shouts London. That's why I bought it. And it's like cute, cute little journal. I'm not sure if I'm going to write in it because um, sometimes I bought journals and then I, I just put them in the archives just like 
you know, they're just chilling right there. Hindi ko naman nasusulatan. But yes, I'm so excited to have this. The only problem that I got with this is when I open it. Kasi nung binili ko talaga siya, naka-plastic siya yung... Nung in-open ko siya, di tinignan ko yung front. And oh, it's okay, it's fine. It's like, it's really, really cute. The pages are really, really nice. But then when I open the back, this is where the problem began. It is just like rip right here. Like, naghiwalay na siya dito. So, yes. But it's okay. It's fine since I really, really love it still. And then I bought this in a very cheap price. I forgot how much is this. I don't know if this is 190 or 200 I'm not sure about that. But this is my um uh only journal that I purchased in BBW 2020. Okay, now we're going to start off with the actual books. Now, I'm so excited, but uh, we're going to talk about this big thing that we have right here. But this is Greek Heroes by Ray Cryer Dan. So, this is an illustration or illustrated edition of the book. If you know Greek Heroes, it is a book talaga written by Ray Cryer Dan, but then it turned into this um illustration, like... It's like the Harry Potter, yung may mga pictures because some of the, some of us readers are picture readers and some of us are word readers because sometimes it is much more enjoyable to read ng may mga um, pictures talaga and some people enjoy naman ng mga words lang talaga and phrases but I enjoyed both in my case. So yes, I'm so excited to finally have this because nung una kang nagpunta ng Big Bad Wolf, um, which is last year, hindi talaga ako nakabili din nito. Alam ko last year nandito na ito, if I'm not mistaken. But then yes, I'm so excited to f finally have this. Just look at it. It's big and nice and it's very heavy and I only bought this for 230 pesos. If you don't know what Greek Heroes is, actually this book contains 12... Um, Stories about gods and goddesses, Olympus, if I'm not mistaken, and it was told by Percy Jackson. Uh, I think I have read a chapter of this because I used it for um, uh, research purposes back when I was in college because I read about Psyche and Cupid. Uh, meron kasi silang part dito, yung kwento nila parang natold dito sa book na ito, pero yun lang yung binasa ko kasi na page. I'm going to correct myself if I am wrong, but then I can vividly remember na dito ko yun na basing story ni Psyche and Cupid. So yes, I'm so excited to have this. It's big and it's very heavy like, yeah! Now I bought, one, two, three, four, five, I bought six paperbacks of books and then I have one, two, three, four. I have four hardbounds and pang fifth yung Greek heroes pag isasama natin sila. So now we're going to start off first with the paperbacks and the contemporary books that I bought. Oh my gosh, I bought contemporary books. I'm so proud of myself. I'll just give myself a pat on the back like, good job. First contemporary book that I bought is Paper Towns by John Green. So, I tried reading his book, Turtles All the Way Down, but only in ebook form. I did not finish it due to some reasons, like I I just can't get past through it. But then, if you see my video, uh, my BBW 2020 vlog with my reading goals, I've decided that I will read um, uh, 12 contemporary books this year, apart from my 24 books reading goal for this year. So, yun namang 12 books ng contemporary. I'm just um, helping myself na makapagbasa talaga ng contemporary books. Kasi nga, I don't usually read contemporary books. So, I tried buying books in a Big Bad Wolf sale ng mga contemporary because I believe meron talaga silang selection ng contemporary doon. Um, I got Paper Towns by John Green because as you can see in the video, yung manager ko doon, yung feeling manager ko doon, sabi niya bumili daw ako ng uh, John Green na book and ito lang yung John Green na book na nakita kasi talaga namin doon. Actually, I don't know what the book is all about. I only know that this is already a movie and the main protagonist in that movie is Cara Delevingne. I really, really love Cara Delevingne actually, pero hindi ko kasi pinanood yung movie kasi alam ko nga hindi ko pa nababasa yung book. So, yes, I don't know when will I get into this, but then I really, really need to get into it. Sana maging interested ako sa kanya para mabasa ko siya, but then I bought it so that I will be, um, uh, what do you call this, motivated to read it since I have the physical copy of the book. So, yes, I don't know when will I read this, but 
the second contemporary book that I got is Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. I believe this is a contemporary book. Pero kung hindi, please correct me in the comments down below because I don't know. I just classified this one as contemporary. Everybody know what is Crazy Rich Asians. I mean, it has a movie. And again, hindi ko pa ulit napapanood yung movie nito kasi nga hindi ko pa nababasa yung libro. Hindi kasi ako big fan ng uunahin ko munang panoorin tapos hindi ko babasahin yung libro. Except na lang kapag wala talaga akong interest na basahin yung libro, panonorin ko yung movie. But then, this one is kind of interesting, interesting for me because this one follow Rachel. Rachel is just this cute little New Yorker pero may namit talaga siya na guy from Singapore and Rachel become his girlfriend nitong guy na ito named Nicholas. But then, Rachel doesn't know that Nicholas is this rich, rich, rich person and eligible bachelor of their country. So, pupunta siya ng Singapore and then makikita niya kung gano'n talaga kayaman si Nicholas Young. So, I'm really, really excited to read this book. Excited but not, not too much excited. Just excited, excited because still, um, I get uh, bored easily talaga in reading contemporary. Uh, it's not that the author says the problem. I am the problem when reading contemporary. So, yes. The movie was awesome. Everybody is raving about it. Simula nung nilabas siya. So, I really, really wanted to watch the movie also. Maybe if hindi, ako, hindi ko to mabasa, I'm just going to watch the movie. But, I mean, this is just short, I believe. And, yes. We'll get into this sooner. I don't know when. Once again. So now for the third paperback that I bought. Uh, I bought Inside Out by Maria V. Snyder. I really, really love Maria V. Snyder. I've read a couple of her books only in ebook form because Maria V. Snyder's book are really, really hard to find in the Philippines. But I highly, highly recommend to you guys that you should go and read her book. She has a lot of series, actually. I really, really love her healer series. Like, I am so in love with her writing. Like, she really, really writes good books. Tapos yung world building talaga is talagang nag-justify niya sa mga writings sa which I really, really love because I'm a high... Uh, I'm a big, big fan of fantasy. So, this one, Inside Out, follows um Stella. If I know, it's Trella. But it follows Trella. Trella is a nobody, a scrub. And parang nakalib siya dito sa low-level type of um people dun sa kanilang world. But then, ang ginagawa nila to live is nililinis nila yung mga uh, places na mga taga-uppers. So, may daan ata sila dito na parang sa mga pipes sila. Parang Pipes are a big thing in this book. Tapos, etong si Trella, alam niyang pumasok sa uppers area gamit yung mga pipes na yon. So, kabisado niya yon. So, uh, when she's doing it for the first time or the second time or nung mga una-una, para sa kanya is okay lang na alam niyang pumunta ng uppers through pipes. Pero sobrang naging kabisado niya na naging kisha into a revolution. So, this is like, the Girl on Fire, Katniss Everdeen, naging face ng revolution. So, I'm really, really excited. And especially, ang nipis lang niya. Uh, that's what I love with Maria V. Snyder's book. Hindi siya mahabang magsulat. Again, I really, really love long books. Pero sometimes kasi, may mga dragging parts na I don't like in long books. Sometimes, um... Parang hindi na, napaka-unnecessary kasi nung mga nagpapahaba sa ibang book. So, medyo hindi ko gusto yung ganun. But then, if a book is short and it's just a page turner, why not? I really, really love those kind of books. So, yes. And again, I highly, highly recommend to you guys to read the Healer series by Maria V. Snyder. Just go ahead and read it. It's amazing. This book that we have is Because You Love to Hate Me, written by various authors and booktubers like ah actually they have the pink one version of it in the big battle sale kaso mas maganda yung cover nito so eto na lang yung binili ko and yes yeah, so this book follows several stories of this um villains that we know so it tinner nila ginawa nila ng story so this is like book of anthologies uh, so, yes, I'm so excited to get into this kasi anthology lang naman yung susundan natin dito. My favorite booktubers collab with a uh, famous author strike right here kasi nandito si Rene Adie, si um, Marisa Mayer, which I love her so much. And then we have Victoria Schwab, even though I haven't read what uh, her writings. 
Yes, but yes. And then we have some booktubers here. Sasha Osberg, I love her. Peruse Project, Reagan Peruse. Oh my God, she's my favorite booktuber ever. And then Kristen Rachel, she's also uh, one of the writers here. So yes, I'm so excited. The next two paperbacks that we have, I've already read them a long time ago. And it is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite dystopian world, apocalyptic thick set up of books and that is World After and End of Days both by Susan E. The first book of this trilogy is actually Angel Fall. Yung ibang mga booktubers, nakakuha talaga sila na um, Angel Fall. Actually, they got the whole trilogy talaga sa Big Bad Wolf. Unfortunately, noong February 15, hindi ko na talaga makita yung Angel Fall. Kaya itong World After tsaka End of Days lang yung nabili ko. But um, I'm going to find Angel Fall na lang para makompleto ko tong trilogy. Actually, this is a very, very good find in the Big Bad Wolf sale. Kasi hindi ito madalas ibenta sa mga bookstores here in the Philippines. Yun kasi yung struggle talaga ng pagiging Filipino na leader. Medyo mahirap tayong makabili ng mga books sa mga bookstores kasi limited lang yung mga titles talaga. But then... Angel Fall, I highly, highly recommend to you guys that you should go and read this trilogy. Angel Fall follows Penring in this apocalyptic world where there is war between angels. Tapos nasas nagiging battleground kasi yung Earth during that time. Kaya parang nagkakagulo na din sa Earth. And then, very apocalyptic, like magugunaw na ang mundo set up like that. So, then we have Rafi. Rafi is an angel na kasama talaga dun sa waging war na yon. And I'm really really into that kind of books and then I love the adventure and then we have Penring. Si Penring is siya yung tomata yung uh, responsible sa family niya, her mother and her sister. Yung sister niya kasi is meron siyang sakit and then nakuha kasi siya ng isang angel. That's why our girl Penring teamed up with Ravi Yes, like human and angel combination. Like the plot twist of these books. Oh my god. Naha-hyper na naman ako. Palagi talaga akong hyper pag ganito. But the plot twists of these books are so amazing and it's so good. Like, what are you waiting for? Read it! Okay now, going with the hardbound books that we have right here. Yes, so um, apat lang ito and then we're going to start now para hindi masyadong mahaba ang video na to dahil alam niyo naman ako mahaba akong mag-video. So, the first hardbound book that I got is Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Sword of Summer, which is the first book of the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. Actually, I don't have uh, this books yet, so I'm really, really happy na nakita ko din sila sa Big Bad Wolf sale. Actually, I still have no plans on reading this book, but then it's good to have it in your bookshelf just in case you wanted to read it, right? So... Uh, I really, really wanted to collect din naman kasi yung books ni Rick Riordan. Like, I've already read The Heroes of Olympus, the Percy Jackson series. Um, that's why, kinukompleto ko na lang sila kasi back in the days, ko pa sila binasa. So, only read them in iBooks. So, yes. But then, we have Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard here. Uh, this one follows Magnus after being on the run for about two years after her mother told him to run. And then, may naghahanap pala sa kanyang Tito niya, si Uncle Randolph, and this uh, guy, nakuha siya nito, kahit iwas siya ng iwas, and then told him about the Norse mythology. That's why I'm really excited then to get into this book because si Rick Riordan, most of the time, we follow Roman and Greek mythology in his books. But this time around, we have Norse mythology in here. So yes, we love mythologies in this house. So yeah. Our girl, again, has once bought a book na pang third pala siya sa trilogy. Um, I usually say that I don't like buying books not in order kasi gusto ko pag binili ko yung book one, uh, bibili ko yung book two and book three. I don't like buying the second book or the third book. Especially kapag hindi ko pa binabasa. So, special case itong si Angel Fall kasi nabasa ko naman siya and I'm just um, uh, completing it for the sake na masama siya sa aking um, collection ng books. But this one, I haven't read the first book or the second book and of course the third book uh, na nabili ko nga but I've heard a lot of great things about this trilogy and um, I highly highly trust Reagan Perus kasi like um, her taste in books and my taste are just like alike and Miss 
Sasha Osberg from A Book Utopia. Parang medyo kasi yung taste nila sa books, yung recommendations nila, madalas um, gusto ko talaga sila mga books. So, um, I highly, highly trust Miss Reagan Perus, lalo na sa mga fantasy books. Uh, the book that I've bought is The Fate of the Tearling. This is the third book of the Queen of the Tearling trilogy. And first book, I mean, we follow Princess Kelsey. Magti-take over na siya sa throne talaga ng kanilang pamilya. So, siya na ang magiging queen, na magiging ruler ng kanilang kingdom. But then, we have this Red Queen na talagang in-overtake yung kingdom nila. And then, Princess Kelsey needs to regain power and to regain that throne. I really, really love books that has that concept na talagang yung overthrow. Yung ito, may kalaban tayong napakasamang tao. I, need, I really, really love political intrigue, the war. I really, really love books with that um, concept. So, I'm really excited to get into the series. Once again, just like the book that I bought by Miss Ray Carson, naghahanap pa din talaga ako ng first and second book nun. And this one, madadagdagan na naman yung paghahanap ko kasi hahanapin ko ulit yung first book and second book nito para makompleto ko yung trilogy. And the thing that I love with this book is it has deckled edges. Like, just look at it. It looks nice, it looks vintage, and yes, I really, really love the book cover of it. Yes! Now, going into the last two books of this book haul, sabi ko sa inyo, hindi talaga to isang malaking book haul. Saktong book haul lang talaga siya. Uh, the last two hardbound books that we got is from a same series, and I've seen this everywhere. So, I'm really, really happy na nakita ko din talaga siya sa Big Bad Wolf Sale. Talaga, nung nakita ko siya talagang, OMG, bibirhin ko ito. Nung una, ang nakita ko dito is paperback yung first book. And then, nakita ko yung second book. It is in hardbound form. So, sabi ko, oo, hahanapin ko yung hardbound ng both books just in case mayroon pang hardbound yung first book. So, nakita ko sila both. So, yes! The books that I'm talking about is Ivory and Bone and Obsidian and Stars, both by Julie S. Bow. So, yes, naka-plastic pa sila. Hindi ko pa kasi tinatanggal kasi matatambak lang muna sila. Baka maalikabukan. So, at least safe sila na naka-plastic pa sila. But, yes, Ivory and Bone and, and Obsidian and Stars follows our main protagonist. We have three protagonists here, if I'm not mistaken, but we follow Cole. Cole is a hunter. Nag-hunt siya ng food para sa family niya sa Great Eyes. However, yung food nila, yung food resources nila is scarce na. So, one time habang nag-hunt siya, is parang meron siyang na-meet na si Mia. Si Mia is may family din na they are hurt and stuff like that. So, nagsama-sama muna sila sa isang camp, if I'm not mistaken. And then, Cole and Mia, I don't know it's Mia or Mia, but Mia, parang nagkaroon ng pagkakaintindihan sa kanilang sides, sa kanilang dalawa, na alam niyo na yun, nagsigur na there is something romantic that blossom in their heart for both persons, like, for both of them. Like, yes. But then, may nagawang grave mistake si Cole kay Mia that ends up to be bad kasi medyo nagkaroon ng sira ang kanilang friendship. And then, itong si Cole, may namit na naman siya named Law and na-discover niya na ang family ni Mia and Law is my dark history and they're not in the same page and hindi sila bati-bati. So, yes, I'm so excited to get into this book since nung nilabas ito talaga, nakikita ko na talaga siya sa booktube. Actually, nung time na sobrang adik na adik ako sa A Court of Thorns and Roses, uh, yung unang book, or kakalabas pa lang A Court of Miss and Fury, nilabas din kasi yung Ivory and Bone. So, nakikita ko siya sa Twitter ko noon. So, sabi ko parang maganda siya. I really, really wanted to pick it up. Kaso nga, um, masyadong madami kong babasahin. Parang hindi ka siya priority. But then, now I have the, the physical copies of the book. Like, I'm really, really excited. And then, it has good reviews and good reads and from the people that I know. So, I uh, this would be on my top uh, TBR Pero hindi natin siya kasi baka magbago na naman yung isip ko kung anong babasahin ka at hindi ko muna babasahin. But then, yes, I'm so, so glad na nakita ka to talaga sa Big Bad Wolf. So, so that's all the books that I bought in Big Bad Wolf sale. Pero all of these books are only ranging from 190 to 350 cents, 350 pesos yung book ni Rick Riordan. Pero yung mga normal size ng na-hardbounds is 250. 
30. So if you want to know my adventure din sa Big Bad Wolf 2020, you can click my BBW 2020 vlog na ililink ko na nag sa description down below. So, what are the books that you bought, guys? You can tell them to me in the comments down below. So, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. I'm going to see you soon with another one. Goodbye!